everyone, welcome back to my channel, the place for online business owners and coaches to upskill their digital marketing. I feel like it's been so long since I filmed a video that's sat down in front of the camera like this. Today I have something really exciting. So you might know that I've been really on and off with YouTube for the last couple of years. Only in 2022 have I gone all in and been posting nearly every week in 2022 so far. I missed one week last weekend um, after a crazy work week, but I'm back now. So one of the videos that I posted way back when in 2020 is consistently one of my best performing videos. It's a tutorial on how to develop an email marketing funnel using MailerLite. I sit and screen record with you how to go through and develop those email chains that come after somebody signs up for a free download. But I don't address in that video how to develop the landing page element that goes with your free resource. So today, if it wasn't clear from the title, I'm showing you what goes into building the landing page element on MailerLite. I'm going to show you two different options. The first one being how to embed a form into your own website that already exists. This is a great example for anyone who wants to use a blog post with a little form at the end Think HubSpot blog style, where it's a blog on the same topic as your freebie. Or if you're just more comfortable building your landing page within your own website software. The second option is for those of you that maybe don't have a website just yet. Or if you do have a website, then it's just about keeping this separate, being able to track the data from the success of just this landing page. So I'm not gonna keep you waiting any longer. You can use the chapter tool to toggle to the element that's most useful for you. And let's get started. So after we looked at how to build a email funnel, I wanted to develop a video to show you how to build the landing page where you can host your email funnel from. So if I show you where I, created previously. So in the last video that I did on this topic, I was showing you kind of what would sit behind this web page, what the funnel would be after somebody hit subscribe, where they would go to. But I wanted to be able to give you a tutorial on also how to create this element, a landing page with all the details that you need to get people interested and wanting to put their email address in here for you. So, on MailerLite specifically, how you can do this is in two different ways. So the first one is gonna be the best for if you have a website already. I do, and I can actually show you an example of this. Um, and this would be to be called an embed form. So if you have a blog post that you would like to have an embed form linked to, so you want people to be able to read a blog post and then make a download after the fact. This is an example of that. Unfortunately, the formatting on here is not loading correctly. It doesn't usually look like this. It usually looks a little bit more pretty and branded up. But it means that when people are reading this blog post about ideal customers, there is quite simply an embedded option for them to download. If that's what you're after, then you will need to go to forms and you need to head to embedded forms. Within this, you just hit create, give it a name, select where you would like the people who submit your form to go. So in this example, let's put them in a webinar funnel. And then once you've done that, you just wanna edit this to make it your own. So probably gonna to wanna to change the colors, you're probably gonna to wanna to add what their name is. Um, if you're B2B like myself, you might want company name. Um, and you can reorder these just by dragging and dropping. You can change all the colors, you could make it a background image, you can make it a nice branded red color. Um, and when you're complete with this, quite simply head to next. So this is definitely the easiest option. Now that you've done this, you have it ready to go. You can opt for a double opt-in and you can either just share this URL as a landing page, but I would not recommend that. It doesn't look very appealing and you can make something much nicer. Instead, I would recommend you use the code down here. So as you can see, there's JavaScript and HTML. So no matter what your website is set up on, one of these two codes will work. For me, I believe it's HTML. So I just copy this entire code and you just wanna paste that into the back end of your website. 
Every website platform is gonna be slightly different. If you take your code and pop it in, you are good to go. That is all you need to do to get people then into your funnel. And once the automation that we talked about in the last video that I'll pop on the screen um, is done, you can just hit send and they that will now be functioning and will work. The other thing that you can do is you can automatically connect them to an automation here. So when I selected the group webinar funnel, it's already kind of recognized that there is an automation attached to that group. If you want to create a new one, you can just do that here. Now, the second option, the one that's going to give you not just a little embed form, but a pretty whole landing page like this one is going to be done through the sites tab on MailerLite. These are both separate features with very similar concepts. So the forms are, are things that are gonna sit on your website. The site is what gonna exist on a, its own standalone landing page. So click the big orange button, create, create a landing page, name it whatever you wanna name it. And I'm just gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to use this concept on MailerLite. Again, you have the option to select your subscriber group and then you also can choose a relevant template. So I'm going to say a lot of these templates are a little bit long winded um, for the, the concepts that you're going to be creating, but I'm going to actually just stick to something really basic. So I'm going to click on this one. Now within this, the key things that you're going to need on your site so that it's functional is to have a form. So to add and remove things from your page, you can either just hover over and click on the delete button or you can drag in elements. So I am actually gonna delete this and I'm gonna replace it with a form. So now that I have my form in here, I just want to edit that and tweak with it until I'm happy. So you can add in an, an image if you'd like. That's what I have on mine is this, there's a piece of media in there. You can add in some text if you wanna give it a title and that sort of thing. Um, and then it's just a case of editing by clicking and using the pencil icons wherever relevant. If you want to add in more than just your email, if you wanna find out the person's name and company name for business purposes, you can just click add field as we did on the other and it will show you. And you can, yeah, so the quantifier on GDPR for data collection is that you should be trying to take as little information as you have to. So that is all I need, name, email and company name. Next, you do have some form settings here. So you can add in a privacy policy. You can add in a recapture if you're finding that you're getting an awful lot of spam selections within there. And I would again recommend if you're in the UK, you can add in marketing permissions and you can get these text boxes. Technically, you have to have these if you are having to somebody sign up for an email or you can add in a double opt-in. So if you don't want to have these tick boxes, if you think it's gonna mean that people are less likely to fill out your form, you can remove them, I believe, but only if you are then following up with an email confirming that they're happy to sign up for your mailing list in between the first email on your sequence. That's a setting that can be done automatically on the next page. So I would recommend that you just stick to this and keep this here. Um, and for anyone who wants to edit that text, you can, but obviously please make sure that you're not changing it drastically. Um, you want the, the general information to be the same. You can also add fields and remove fields. So for example, I don't do online advertising where I'm gonna be tracking this person's details. Um, I'm not trying to do that from this form at all. I just want their permission to, to give them an email. So you could condense this down slightly and, and use this text in maybe a one-liner while still getting the same message across. And same, you could almost, if you're explaining around the field and there's only one field, I'd say that you could argue that you're in keeping while just having the one tick box there. Um, you can also change all the settings and the colors like previously. So if you hit save, there is a settings tab. 
this settings page is how you can change the view and the design. So the first thing I'm gonna get rid of is that page header. I do not like that. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of the footer. We are going to, we're gonna change the font to be Helvetica. We're gonna change the colors to be a nice bold red. Not the right color codes for my brand. None of this is actually on brand. I'm just wanting to demonstrate with you what you can do. Um, and there are other elements to your page as well. So it'll automatically put a lot else in there. So do make sure that you get rid of this. I wouldn't recommend you, you have it right down at the bottom like that. I, I think you should have it top and center, but you can make this page whatever you need it to be. So if you're looking to add in different pieces of content like testimonials, information about you, images, dividers, there's all the options and flexibility there. Another really good one to include here is maybe a social icons or social share buttons. So people can use this button to share your piece of content, to share your lead generation. And remember, if this is a lead generation, this is likely what your freebie is, why it's gonna be so powerful to this person would be a really good option for you. Another thing that I usually do and that you can see in the example page here is I actually introduce myself. This is a webinar where I'm presenting as you can see in this little snippet. So I'm identifying myself as the speaker and introducing who I am. Testimonials is another really powerful thing that you can include in there. Um, so I would recommend that you add in a few other elements than just this first section. So then you get into publish. So if you're not quite ready, if you've still got stuff that needs editing, you can save this as a draft so it's not yet live on the internet. Um, if it's complete, then you don't have to worry about this little arrow and you can just hit save and publish. This is where all of your settings come in. So on MailerLite, you can to some extent change your URL. So this is editable. I can change this to be whatever I want. Again, in this previous example, it's webinar download. If you have the paid version, you should also be able to make this your own domain name. So you could make it rarediggitalandevents.com, for example. You can update the favicon, so this little icon you can see here. You could make it your logo, like that, that one in the top of my screen that you can see. And you can update the SEO settings, the social share settings, and any analytics that you want to include. If you want this to appear on Google and the like, you need to click this checkbox. But bearing in mind, this little form is probably not gonna be enough to have this really highly featured on the Google pages. And all that's left to do is hit save and continue. And now your website is live. Here's the element that I was mentioning to you about the double opt-in. If you wanted to turn it on, it's quite simply a checkbox and it will automatically develop something for you, but you can change this branding and that sort of stuff if you would like. And if you wanna remove the page, you can unpublish, you can create split tests and lots of other more complicated elements if you would like to. So here is your landing page. All you now need to do is take this URL and you can publish that all over your social media and even send ads to it to be able to promote and push your opt-in. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I really hope it's been useful for you and it's kind of joined up the picture of that other video that I created. Um, however, if you are new here and you're finding this video and you haven't yet built out your email funnel and you're not sure what to do next now that you have your landing page, I will pop something up on the screen just here where you can go and click if you wanna watch how to build out the emails to go alongside your landing page. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I will catch you next week.